Yeah, but you do want to turn You turn to me. How am I supposed to put Yes. Yo, 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 listen, 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 listen. He's in. Oh, it's all right. It's gonna be a great night. It's gonna be the biggest night in LAX history. All right? We finally introduce our newest member. But in the main event on Impact, we're gonna be going against El Patron, his brother and his dad against La Familia. But the best part is when the newest member arrives, who thinks just like us, is just as vicious as us, a new era of violence and brutality like it's never been seen in this company is about to commence, and I'm loving it. Orale, arriba la raza, LAX, to live and die. Orale. Ladies and gentlemen, we are happy to announce the Super X Cup Tournament. Super X Cup was something that was a staple, a cornerstone of Impact Wrestling. These are simply the greatest athletes from around the world. Representing AAA in Mexico. Representing Impact Wrestling. This is Drago. Desmond Xavier. Just watch. Just enjoy. Xavier. Oh, my goodness. Round two awaits. Running DDT cover. And that's it. And now the semifinals are set. Super X Cup is a collection of some of the best wrestlers from around the world. No me importa acabar con mis oponentes en el cuadrilátero, destrozarlos. My objective is to destroy my opponents. It is important for me to win the X Cup. Winning the Super X Cup is going to be huge for my career. Because as soon as I show that I am battle tested against every single individual in this Super X Cup, whoever the X Division champion is, doesn't stand a chance. This time, I want a real challenge. has run rampant as Conan of the Latin American Exchange has promised that tonight there will be a new member of the family. Who will it be? Could it be a member of the Patron family? We're going to find out tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Super X Cup Tournament semifinal match. It is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Dayton, Ohio, Desmond Xavier! JB along with the Pope, D'Angelo De Niro, and Josh Matthews at ringside as we kick off Impact with a second round match in the Super X Cup Tournament. The winner of this match punches his ticket to compete live on August 17th in two weeks at Destination X. His opponent from Mexico City, Drago! Direct from Mexico's AAA comes Drago in what is promising to be one of the most exciting matches. The speculation online, everybody's talking about the Super X Cup Pope. These two are about to lock horns in what could be a meeting of the best. Certainly it's been the talk of the professional wrestling business, if you will. Drago has arrived here. Impact Wrestling, unique look, unique style, a unique combination to excel in the X Division. And as we bring you the first match of the second round of the Super X Cup Tournament, you see the look of determination on Desmond Xavier. Let's take a look at how our brackets are shaping up. Desmond Xavier, Drago, the winner will go on to the finals August 17th at Destination X to face the winner of ACH versus Pro Wrestling Noah's Ishimura as we kick off a matchup, certainly with some international flavor. Fasten your seatbelt for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Two of the fastest men in professional wrestling today. And you know that Ishimori and ACH are paying close attention to this match. They'll compete next week, and then in two weeks, the finals 
Destination X. Who will go there? Will it be Desmond Xavier or will it be Drago? Well, you know, Xavier, if you will, Pope calls him Xavier because this man defines the X Division in Pope's opinion, and he's looking not to be a flash in the pan, but to hit that final flash maneuver to move on in the Super Cup tournament. Yeah, we are looking at a situation right now where the finals will be determined August 17th live right here on Impact for Destination X. You call him Xavier because his name is Xavier. That's well, his, name is, his name is Xavier. Woodcow. Don't we correct, Pope. Invite you to follow along with us tonight. Hashtag Impact on Pop, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, at Impact Wrestling. And of course, the Fight Network app available on Apple TV, Amazon TV, and Roku. Let's take a look at this drop kick that sent Desmond Xavier to the floor. Yeah, nice move by Drago. We've seen so much in just one match from Drago so far here in this Super X Cup. He defeated Sammy Guevara and Desmond Xavier with the big win against Idris Abraham to get here to the semifinals. And fans, we've read your feedback. We've seen all the praise of the Super X Cup tournament, the international flavor that we've seen from around the world. And I got good news. It's not stopping. There are more big names coming in soon. A lot of speculation online. Hashtag impact on pop tonight. And I've got Ishimori winning the entire Super X Cup tournament. Pope, I know you've got Desmond Xavier, so you're obviously taking Xavier to win this match. Absolutely, and you can't take away from Drago right now. He's putting a hurting, if you will, on Xavier, pulling out that unique offense that Pope alluded to earlier. On this broadcast tonight, get ready. It's going to be for the Impact Grand Championship. EC3 challenges Moose. We will see that tonight. And if EC3 pulls off that new move, that ECD as he's calling it. Nice hurricane, Rana. And a cover, no. Both of these two athletes, they can pull out moves from the knee pads, daddy. From the bottom of their boots. You never know where it's going to come from. How about how we started tonight's broadcast with the news? Conan promising tonight a new member of the Latin American Exchange and speculation all week long. Could it actually be a member of the Patron family as Drago goes out to the floor? Look out for Desmond Xavier. Here comes Drago. These two so quick, so fast, and back outside the ring goes Desmond Xavier. What does Drago have in store? And JB, to your point from moments ago, how sad is it when you can't even trust your own family? Alberto El Patron can't even trust his own father or his brother. How do you know that? He can't trust him. Of course he can trust him. It's just, wow! Oh, right out here in front of us! I'll answer that question on the other side of this break. More Super X Cup action when we return on Impact. We are back on Impact. It's Super X Cup Tournament, second round action. Drago, Desmond, Xavier, and so far, these two have gone back and forth. And you want to talk about evenly matched opponents. These two just knocked each other out with their feet. Well, it's like walking into a room, you see a shadow, a cut on the light, and all of a sudden, you see your own reflection standing there. That's what's happening with these two guys. It's like mirroring each other, thinking the same move at the same time. I'll tell you what, our bags are packed coming up tomorrow night. We are invading New York, the tri-state area. Impact Wrestling back on the road. The Sports Arena in Long Island, and Saturday we're at the Richmond County Savings Bank Ballpark in Staten Island. Impact Wrestling on the road. Let's take a look at this again. This is something that could never be done to me, but it happened here to Drago and Desmond Xavier. A pair of boots to the side of the face. Josh, I don't think you can get your leg up that high, son. These two right here are very premier athletes in Impact Wrestling, and you're only going to see that type of action right here. As you can see, these two giving it their all. They know what's at stake here, advancing to the finals of the Super X Cup Tournament, which will be held live August 17th, right here, two weeks. I will have a word with the winner immediately following this matchup. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of condition these guys are in, either win the winner after this match. How are you going to talk to Drago? You don't speak Spanish. I speak all the languages. If Drago wins, I'll handle the interview. Oh, I'd love to see that. Yeah, speak fluent Spanish for us. Right now. I'll do it when I, if I have to, when I speak to Drago. I'm not a puppet out here for your amusement. Drago now very confident in terms of his approach towards Desmond Xavier, almost giving a chance to 
catch his breath, maybe a mistake. Yeah, you talk about speaking different languages. Drago's speaking one language right now, and that's with his feet, and that's with putting the boost. Look at this! A cutter! My goodness! Great combination. How fast was that? It was so fast, Hope couldn't finish his thought. It was a situation where Desmond Xavier can hit you with something out of literally thin air. And as we just saw, Xavier needs to be pulling himself up right now and going for a cover Six. immediately. Oh. There's that referee Robert King again. Or is it Robert? Yes. That doesn't matter. Desmond Xavier coming in. Goes back for another. Full steam ahead. Look out, Drago's right behind him. What a maneuver. This is what Pope keeps talking about. When it comes to these premier athletes, it looks like Xavier, he's about to take fight. Oh, boy. Wow. What great elevation takes out Drago. Let's take another look at this. Desmond Xavier. He makes it look so easy. Trust me, folks, this is difficult to do. One leap up and over the top rope takes out Drago. Desmond Xavier's trying his hardest to get to the finals. Remember, in the finals, it will be the winner of this match taking on Ishimori. Here's a cover. Two, and no. Back to Josh Point, though. You talk about taking those high-risk maneuvers. It only takes one mistake. One mistake to cost you three seconds and end the match. Next week, we are going to see ACH versus Ishimori from Pro Wrestling Noah. Winner will face the winner of this match, August 17th, live right here on POP on Destination X, the finals of the Super X Cup Tournament. Don't forget, you can get your August VIPs. Ooh, at shopimpact.com right now. Another VIP about that. That was a direct shot right to the face, and now Drago. Oh, wow, did you see the angle? The angle that he came down right on his head, that's going to do it. Oh. How do you kick out of the Hangman DDT delivered by Drago to Desmond Xavier? Perseverance. Why, Desmond Xavier just, I mean, literally just dropped right on his head. Has to be feeling the effects of that. No doubt about it. When you think about dropping on your head from a standing position, but then you take that same move and do it from an elevated position, it's going to leave your opponent hurt. Wow, Drago just relentless. Hey, I'll tell you what, Conan kicked off the program tonight promising a new member of the Latin American Exchange, and there has been a lot of rumors, speculation, innuendo online as to who this could be, and wow, dropped right on his face. Drago has Desmond Xavier where he wants him. Sets him up for a power bomb right down, and one, two, and no. Wow, what resilience. How did Desmond Xavier kick out of that? And JB, to what you're talking about, I'll drop some knowledge right now. My sources have been telling me that the newest member of LAX is a member of the El Patron family. What sources? I can't tell you that. Name I'm a the, journalist. Yeah, you're a journalist. Name my sources. My goodness, Josh, stay away from the 7-Eleven. Turn back here. Look what's going on in the corner. Xavier with a kick to the back of Drago's head. Well, the further comment on that, Josh, it, no secret, Conan has a lot of good friends in this industry. Conan can make several phone calls and change the very face of this organization. That's what scares me. But he also wants to hurt Alberto El Patron. And what better way to do that than to get his family That's to it. turn on him? Got him here! Yeah. Oh, Drago just connected. And such educated feet from Drago. Both men, for that yeah, matter. Absolutely. I thought that was over. A knockout, knee to the head, but Desmond still has the wherewithal to kick out. The drive, the fortitude. It's a stalemate right now between these two as they both try to advance to the finals. And you know, the X Division champion, Sanjay Dutt, who, by the way, is banned from the arena tonight after what happened last week. Bruce Pritchard, I don't think handling this situation fairly at all, but... The result is this, Trevor Lee has possession of the X Division Championship and he will be here later tonight. Look out for Drago right now. Going in full steam ahead on Desmond Xavier. Wow, oh, one in the first round with that same move. Can he do it? Here's a cover, two, and... Wow. 
you know the winner of the Super X Cup would love to challenge for the X Division Championship. And if you watched Inside Out last Friday, one of my favorite digital series where we talked to our executive team, Bruce Pritchard said that he likes the argument that Trevor Lee is making as the X Division Champion. Which shows you where his mind is at right now. A little cloudy, I'd say. I hope Bruce is listening to you right now, JB. Uh, I'm hardly the only one saying this. Anybody who's... Oh, wait, look at this. X19, by Desmond Xavier. Looking to capitalize right now. Desmond Xavier going to the top. This is where he is so dangerous and so spectacular. Perched high. Oh my goodness, the final flash. That does it. Wow. Here is your winner, Desmond Xavier. I'm going to go get a word with our winner, the man advancing to the finals of the Super X Cup Tournament, Desmond Xavier. What a victory over Drago. And now, coming up two weeks from tonight, Desmond Xavier will go into the ring of the finals of the 2017 Super X Cup Tournament against either ACH or Ishimori. Those two will go one-on-one -on -one next week, but right now it's all about Desmond Xavier Pope. That broadcasting school is paying off big time. The X19, the final flash. We saw a lot from Desmond Xavier here in this matchup. Xavier can rest next week. He's on his way to Destination X. JB, take it away. All right, as we take a look at our updated graphic standings here in the Super X Cup Tournament, Des, congratulations, you are going to the finals. How's it feel? For me to be that man to go into the finals means that I am destined to win this all. So everybody, whoever may be standing against me in the finals, be ready, because I'm walking out the winner. All right, he is headed to the finals of the Super X Cup. Desmond Xavier, what a way to kick off Impact, wow. Congratulations, Desmond Xavier. Mackenzie Mitchell backstage with more. Mackenzie Mitchell backstage with EC3, and you have a big night tonight as you go up against Moose in an Impact Grand Championship match. Do you have any comments? Do I have comments? Isn't it hot in here? Can you feel the heat, Mackenzie? I am a hot commodity, and I know you can feel it. Tonight's Impact Grand Championship match against the Moose. The Moose, you are a very formidable opponent, but I do not battle just you. I battle three other men, three stooges, three knuckleheads, three judges led by the always and forever corrupt Bruce Pritchard. Now this match will not go three rounds. I will get this done in one, maybe two rounds because the moose, the fact is I'm in your head. I'm in your dome. I'm in your cranium. I'm in your brain. And that is a very dangerous place to let me be. Tonight, the greatest feeling in the world is going out there, saying what you're gonna do and doing it. I become the Impact Grand Champion tonight because I'm a Carter and this company needs me. Whew. Hot! Wow. We're going to see EC3 versus Moose yet to come tonight. And in a civil war, the Latin American Exchange take on the Patron family. Conan has promised a brand new member of LAX tonight in our main event. If you'd have told me when I was showing up, when I was driving from Mizzou all the way to Nashville every single Wednesday, that I would be facing Bobby Lashley, I'd have said, no way. There's some authority here. I've got a request for you. I'm getting a little sick and tired of everybody around here demanding this and demanding that. Getting an opportunity to be in the ring with him and showing the fans something different. I think the match is gonna be one of the matches of the year. You are deserving of a championship match. For me, I never saw myself as just an X Division wrestler or a light heavyweight. I saw myself as somebody who is not afraid 
to stand in the ring across from anyone. Hey, Bob Bobby. Bruce. Oh, man, don't do this to me like this. Listen, this does Come not on. concern you. Step back. You know that everybody's going to be coming out here trying to get this number one contender and that title shot. But you know, I know, and everybody in here knows that there's only one person deserving of a world title shot. And that's the only true warrior in this entire wrestling business. And it's a man standing right in front of you. Me. Is he my way? Yeah. Going into this, there's going to be a lot of people in my way. No so one you. wants to hear it. Oh, boy. Watch yourself. I'm asking for a title shot. If you lose the title, you got to come back and get it. And when you come back and get it, there's going to be people that step up and try to claim what's yours or try to take what's yours. Oh, I know, I know. Reality, she's not a chance. So is he in my way? Sure. So I'm just going to push him out of the way and then keep going. Now, if anybody tries to step past me, to one of these title shots for the world title. I will break them in half. I deserve the... I have been dancing this dance for some time. I told you. I remember last not... week, and I'm not going to be ignored. I faced the world's strongest men and some of the biggest shows in this business. This is what I signed up for. This is why I show up. A challenge like Bobby Lashley is what I was made for. I am mandating that Lashley and Seidel face each other one-on-one -on -one at Destination X live on August the 17th. And the winner of that one-on-one -on -one matchup will receive the championship match that they so desire. He has a shot to have a great match against me, but not a shot at beating me. Let's be real, nobody in this roster has a shot at beating me. If there is a way to beat Bobby Lashley, I'll find the way. The fact of the matter is, when he gets out there, he knows what to expect. He knows that there's only that lucky lottery chance that he's gonna maybe escape with the victory. At the end, we know what's gonna happen is we want to three pin. That's the only thing that's gonna happen. Shot for shot, it sounds like anything can happen. It sounds like the way things have been are not the way things are anymore. And there's one sure bet in life. There's only one person you can count on. You bet on yourself. Title shot versus title shot. Lashley versus Seidel in two weeks at Destination X. Speculation running rampant. New member of the Latin American Exchange tonight. Conan has promised to deliver it. Let's go backstage now with the Patron family. I'm standing backstage with the legendary Dos Caras, Alberto El Patron and his brother. And tonight you guys will be in a historic six-man tag team matchup as you go against LAX. Did you happen to hear what Conan said earlier? Of course I heard what Conan was saying. I, of course I know what Conan has been saying since the beginning. But there's something we all know about Conan in Mexico. You don't trust Conan. He was a snake, he was a liar, and he's still the same lying snake till this day. But just forget about Conan for a second. What really worries me tonight is you. You, you and Conan, you guys became best friends in Japan, Mexico, and I've seen you. I'm seeing you in the corners of this arena, talking to him, hugging Conan like you guys are best friends. Can I trust you tonight? Can I trust you tonight? No, oh, don't worry. Conan is just trying to get inside your head. So don't worry. I just, I don't, I, I just don't know why I don't believe in what you're saying. I just can trust you tomorrow. Ya, ¿por qué nunca crees en mí? Nunca confías en mí. ¿Qué tú quieras decir? Ya, como se, cállate ya. Esto es otra cosa. Esto no te puedes meter en esta cosa porque estamos ganando dinero aquí en la compañía. Come on, guys. Family is everything. If you can't trust your family, who can you trust? You don't know this guy, and you know Conan. Nunca crees en mí. Papá, esto no te metas. Come on, man. Relax, okay? Take it easy, everybody. All right, relax. Okay. I know this is strange, but trust me, I've seen stranger. All right. You had a six-man match. Everybody, relax. Calm down. Get ready for your match, okay? There's no relax here. You talk to this guy, talk to that lion snake, Conan, and then come and find me. Guys, I know, easy. Okay, relax. All right? Karen, I need to talk to you alone now.
was that all about? I'll tell you in a second. Ladies and gentlemen, the following X Division contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Burlington, North Carolina, Trevor Lee. Uh, yes, notice he was not introduced as the X Division champion. What you're seeing is not a error. He is actually in possession of the X Division championship, the same championship officially held by Sanjay Dutt, who is banned from the building. Yeah, Sanjay Dutt, he's livid. He wants his championship back. We'll let Trevor Lee's opponent come out, and then we'll talk about uh, Alberto El Patron. His opponent from Mumbai, India, Mumbai Cats. We saw Mumbai Cats premiere in the broadcast, the historic first ever broadcast from India, in which Impact traveled the globe and brought you some great international talent. Here comes the, is this number one, number two of the Mumbai Cats? Not sure. This is number one. Mumbai Cat number one, one of the biggest international stars that will ever step foot inside the Impact Zone. How is he not in the Super X Cup tournament? He actually turned down the opportunity to compete because he won multiple tournaments earlier this year. Where do you get this information? <laughs> well, Pope's grabbing his uh, flip flops here. He won the J Cup this year, you guys. All the right. Water's getting really high around here. Trevor Lee, who has been on a mission, and somehow Bruce Pritchard seems to be siding with this whole situation <laughs> and banning Sanjay Dutt from the building tonight. How about Alberto El Patron, the situation with he, his father, his brother, and certainly I think all this. Wait a minute, what's going on here? That's, is that Mumbai Cat 2? That is Mumbai Cat number 2. They just did the old switcheroo. And Trevor Lee has not been hey, on, made guys, aware, right. obviously. He's in the dark. I don't know how we tell the two of them apart, but Trevor Lee is in there now and has no idea what has just happened. Now you got a fresh Mumbai Cat number 2 after the old switch there. That is uh, Mumbai Cat coming in. Takes down Trevor Lee, and look at these right hands. Looks good. Looks good, looks great, look at that kick. Delivered now, look at this. Wow. Tornado DDT, Beautiful. and this by Cat guy, he's going for the win. Look at this from the top rope. Wow. That looks Fix. familiar. What do you mean? Yeah, it does. Cover, two, and that does it. Here is your winner. Mumbai Cat gets Sanjay oh, oh. Dutt. Oh, 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 Sanjay! He was banned from the building. He's not even supposed to be here. And look at Trevor Lee. And listen to the crowd. I think Sanjay just proved what he's been telling the world all along. That's his title, and he has Trevor Lee's number. He wasn't even legal. Hold on. Hold on, Bruce. Hold on. Let, let me say my piece. Let me say my piece. Hold on real quick. Trevor Lee, there's a little discrepancy in your head on who is the rightful X Division champion, right? Hey, a wise man once said, to be the champ, you gotta beat the champ. And Trevor, you ain't beat the champ, understand, son? So, so, let's settle this like men in the middle of the ring, August 17th, Destination X, live from the Impact Zone. How about that? And hey, 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 and just, just to make that even more solid, how about we hang that belt and do it in a ladder match? How about that, huh? Wow. What a challenge thrown out by the champion. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on, I'm a man of my word. I'm done, take me away. Uh, Bruce Pritchard not taking very kindly to the fact Sanjay Dutt completely ignoring the ban. And I think Bruce just takes everything personally. But what a challenge laid down here by Sanjay Dutt. Will we get an X Division ladder match in two weeks live at Destination X? I can't wait to find out.
Ah, yeah, the bags are packed. Tomorrow night, we are headed to the tri-state area of New York this weekend. Sports Arena tomorrow night in Long Island. And Saturday, we go to the Richmond County Savings Bank Ballpark in Staten Island. Impact Wrestling on the road this weekend in the New York tri-state area. You do not want to miss your opportunity to see Impact live in person this weekend. Let's take a look at what happened moments ago. Sanjay Dutt comes into the ring, surprises everyone. He's not one of the Mumbai Cats. He's actually the Rightful X Division Champion. And the Rightful X Division Champion did his business and pulled off the victory. And it's official. It will happen in two weeks. A ladder match for the X Division title. Sanjay Dutt versus Trevor Lee. It is the most prestigious MMA training school in the nation. American top team. It's where Bobby Lashley trains. Let's take a look. Uh, Dan Lambert, the owner of American Top Team. We've got one of the largest mixed martial arts teams in the world. I met Bobby Lashley a few times here. You know, he, he's trained. I've never got to train with him. Obviously, he's like 10 weight classes above me. He's, uh, you know, he's a really nice guy. I'm actually a huge fan of him. Bobby's a stud. Bobby reached out to us back in about 2008. He came and started training with us. After a short period of time, he had, he had an incredible success in, in MMA just because he's got a real solid wrestling background as an amateur, and, and, and he's a stud and a beast physically. And wrestling is what it is. I mean, we're real fighters. We go in here, we put the work in, you know, we get the, I mean, we're taking the bumps and bruises every day. I know wrestling has the same thing, but I mean, this is real fighting. I've actually participated in it a little bit, and I know that it's hard as hell. It's harder than the MMA. Man, it's, it's taxing your body. The people out there that are competing or, and participating in pro wrestling are elite level athletes. Do I think he needs to choose one or the other? Yeah. The Bobby Lashley is a strong fighter. There's no pro wrestling. Just fight, man. Fight. Don't tell Dan this, but do both. Do both. He needs to focus on one. I mean, you can't do both at the same time. Bobby's great at both. He's a, he's a unicorn when it comes to this because he can do both and he can achieve great heights in both at the same time. But if, if you want to be the best of the best, you need, you need to focus. Uh, certainly opinions vary amongst American top team on Bobby Lashley. Grado needs to get married if he wants to stay in this country. Let's go backstage. We got a big match tonight, Grado. Gotta make that money. <laughs> but we still have a problem. We have to get you married. So you take care of the match. I'm gonna go fetch Laurel. You know what to do afterwards. We're gonna get you married tonight, my friend. I think she really likes you. Really? Uh, yes, I do. Oh, I just don't want the potty. And what about my other guy? <sighs> don't worry about him. I got this. It reminds me of something my great grandma Jenny used to tell me all the time. I'll never forget it. She used to say, Little Joe, when the chips are down and the cars are up, yeah, no, that wasn't it. I remember now. She used to say, Little Joe, when it's about time to fold the tents and things are looking bleak. No, that wasn't it either. Anyway, it always worked for me. And if you can take it and use it, go ahead. I'll sure never forget it. Looking to capitalize right now. Desmond Xavier going to the top. This is where he is so dangerous and so spectacular. Perch tie. Oh my goodness, the final flash! That does it. Wow. Here is your winner, Desmond Xavier! I'm gonna go get a word with our winner, the man advancing to the finals of the Super X Cup Tournament, Desmond Xavier. What a victory over Drago. And now, coming up two weeks from tonight, Desmond Xavier will go into the ring of the finals of the 2017 Super X Cup Tournament against either ACH or Ishimori. Those two will go one-on-one -on -one next week, but right now it's all about Desmond Xavier. Pope, that broadcasting school is paying off big time. The X19, the final flash. We saw a lot from Desmond Xavier here in this matchup. Xavier can rest next week. Desmond, congratulations. Uh, you've been an impact in only a short time. Super X Cup seems like you're making a big splash. Round two is in the book. How are you feeling? This moment is surreal. 
it honestly is. To be in this position, to showcase what I can do against world-class talent is surreal. I honestly cannot put words to how I am feeling right now. For me to be moving on from the semifinals into the finals with the opportunity of winning the Super X Cup is mind-boggling. I never thought that I would be here. Well, you are here now. What's your plan going forward for the, for the finals? From this moment forward, I have some preparation to do because I do not know who I'll be standing against in the finals. So I have to double time the amount of preparation that I have watching video, sitting back here and watching live footage to make sure that I am prepared for whoever is standing against me. The finals are gonna be amazing, but the finals will have me walking out the victor. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, the company to the ring by Chris Adonis from Los Angeles, California, Elytrake. Some feel this man is destined to become world heavyweight champion. Eli Drake, along with Christopher Adonis headed to the ring. And how about this situation with Grado and Joseph Park? Well, I hope for one that Grado gets deported and we never have to see his stupid, ugly, fat face again. And yes, I have said that Eli Drake will be a future world champion. I truly believe that. Hey, easy there, Tiger. Don't call Grado's face fat. Stupid and ugly. His opponent from Boston, Massachusetts, making his way to the ring, Eli Drake, the opponent. And certainly from what we have seen, where is he? All right, uh, something's going on backstage. Throw a camera back there. That's Congo Kong. My God. That's Laurel Van Ness. And that's Eddie Edwards. What the hell's he doing? Congo Kong is destroying the backstage area. It looks like Eddie Edwards got the worst of it. I'll tell you what, the backstage area has been absolutely turned upside down. Congo Kong is on a rampage right now back there. Yeah, I think it's gonna get turned around here in a little while when LAX faces the Patron family. What a scene that's gonna be. It's being called a civil war of sorts. Yeah, if you thought what, what you saw backstage was crazy, LAX is gonna try to carry out a massacre right, Hang on a second, but we gotta go backstage. I'm here and there's more commotion going back there. Let's take a look. That's Laurel Van Ness, who's been the object of the uh, desire, if you would, of Grado and, oh, who's that? This is exactly what happened to Eddie Edwards. We're not gonna get a match between Eddie and Eli Drake. That's Congo Kong and, oh, you know who that is? That's Richard Justice. We, we met him last week, right? He's always ready. Well, I hope he was ready for what Congo Kong is dishing out to him right now, and it don't look like he is. Congo Kong's been on a rampage since Grado has been trying to win the affection of Laurel Van Ness in order to stay in the country. He's getting deported. Congo Kong is sending a message to Grado, first with Eddie Edwards and now through this young man right here. Where is security? Laurel Van Ness just watching as Congo Kong is destroying this man backstage. This assault. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is for the Impact Grand Championship, scheduled for one fall or three rounds. Introducing first the challenger from Boca Raton, Ethan Carter the third, EC3! Well, as we have our entrances for the Impact Grand Championship match, we're gonna keep a close eye on camera backstage, Congo Kong on an absolute rampage. And now as EC3 makes his way to the ring, he had some very choice words for the judges at ringside. There you see a Bruce Pritchard, Scott Demore, and Dutch Mantell, respectively, and of course Tyrus on the shoulder of Bruce Pritchard. And EC3 hasn't really endeared himself 
to the judges. That may not help EC3 if it goes to the end of three rounds, but Ethan Carter III says he's going to end this before the judges can make a decision. Are we looking at the next Impact Grand Champion? Well, when you have the talent and the ability that EC3 has, he don't necessarily need to endear himself to the judges. All he has to do is let his talents shine through. His opponent representing Moose Nation, he is the Impact Grand Champion, Moose! And the former Atlanta Falcon making his way to the ring, the Impact Grand Champion, a man who has taken this championship title reign and taken it to new heights, taking the championship around the world and defending it against anyone and everyone has remained victorious tonight. He faces his toughest challenge to date in the former world heavyweight champion, Ethan Carter III, EC3. Remember, Impact Grand Championship matches up to three three-minute rounds. If it goes to the distance, we go to the judges' scorecards. Pinfall or submission at any point can determine the winner of this matchup. And Pope, it's been a whirlwind worldwide experience for most to travel around the world with this championship. Well, when you talk about the Impact Grand Championship, let Pope say this, there can only be one first when it comes to championship titles, but there can be many greats. Moose has established himself as the greatest Impact Grand Champion to date. And the toughest challenge to date for Moose in the form of EC3, who has just been well, anytime he's not been World Heavyweight Champion, he's just plain bitter. And remember, EC3 defeated Moose last week in a six-man tag team match, earning this match. EC3 used that ECD, so Pope, I completely disagree with everything that you said about Moose, and I think EC3 is gonna leave here tonight with new gold around his waist. Well, certainly, uh, Josh, you are entitled to your opinion. But again, Moose has traveled the continent, Steady. He has defended that championship everywhere, and it remains firmly around his waist. And I don't see it changing here tonight, JB. Approaching two minutes, 22 seconds now, as the chops are coming in fast and furious from Moose. And a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, brand new DVD titles are available now at shopimpact.com. Rivals, one night only. All kinds of great DVDs, brand new, Joker's Wild 2016 and more. Shopimpact.com for brand new DVD releases in the Moose. Going to town on EC3, right out in front of the judges. And this is a first-hand perspective for the judges to see the action up close and personal. Now they're looking at physicality, aggressiveness, controlling the action, and Pope, I mean, to say that Moose has gone out there and defended, well, sure, he can go out every night and defend the championship, but against who? Against dudes on the indies? Give me a break, this is EC3. He's a former two-time world champion. And again, as Pope alluded to earlier, you don't take away anything from EC3. You'll be a dumb man to bet against EC3, but right now, Pope's opinion, this type of matchup, this style, has benefited Moose greatly. That's why he holds on to the title. And to his credit, Josh, Moose has been to Mexico City for AAA. Moose has been to Pro Wrestling Noah in Japan. He has defended this championship around the world. And tonight, score that, Bruce. Oh, wow, look at that. Real tension there. Bruce Pritchard made it very clear. This is going to be a situation where he is a judge. Dutch Mantel is a judge, and Scott Demore is a judge. Call it right down the middle to determine the winner. Ooh. And I wonder how that conversation with Karen Jarrett and Bruce went earlier. They wanted to have a, a little private conversation. Did Bruce, and who knows how that transpired. Seconds remaining in the opening round of the Impact Grand Championship title match, EC3 and Moose. Boy, tough to judge this first round. 
Don't know which way the round is really going to go. Josh, what do you think about it? I think it was evenly split, but I think if you look right now, this is your lasting impression. You have EC3 standing tall. You have Moose down, and Stifler will go talk to the judges to get the official scores. We will hear the announcement momentarily. Who won the first round of this matchup? Ladies and gentlemen, the judges' scorecards are in, and round one goes to EC3. All right, the challenger with the upper hand going into round two, and Moose has been down before, has been able to come back, but these are out of different circumstances. He hasn't been in the ring with someone like EC3 before. No, and EC3 is smart right now. He's sticking and moving. On, he hey, knows on, that guys, he won round number here. one. On, if hey, he one does two. just enough here in round number two and stays away from Moose, Moose will have to win in round number three. And also, you got to go back to what you said towards the end of round one, Josh. I like that point. When a guy is standing tall, when he's looking good, he's not sweating much, he looks to be in control, that does plays into the thinking, the scoring of the judges, if you will. It's kind of like Flo Mayweather. You understand what I'm saying? Just look good. Just look good doing what you do. EC3 looks good right now, and from what we understand, security, they've had a rough night so far. First, they had to deal with Sanjay Dutt, and they've gotten oh. Congo Kong out of the impact zone. I wonder how hard that was. <laughs> You try moving a guy standing over six foot seven, near 400 pounds. What do you do in that instance? Well, certainly what we've seen from him is just a path of destruction, not only in the ring, but backstage as well as EC3. Feeling very confident at this point. A minute 48 left in the second round. Remember, EC3 won round number one, according to the judges' scorecards. This could end via pinfall or submission at any time. If it goes all three rounds, we will get a decision from the judges. They got 90 seconds to go here in round number two. Moose has got to move. He's got to win this round. Otherwise, EC3 is going to be up two rounds to nil. Well, that's exactly what Pope was about to say, Josh. According to my scorecard. Unofficial scorecard. Yeah. Oh! Moose needs to do exactly what you said. He's losing this round right now, and it needs to change quickly for his favor. Well, let's remember what EC3 said earlier. He said, Moose, I'm in your head, your cranium, your noggin, I'm in there. And EC3 went as far as to predict he'd get it done in round one or round two, and with one minute left in round two, he certainly so far has been pretty dominant in this matchup. Well, a lot can change in under a minute, but Moose got to get up to his feet to make that happen. Moose just got slapped in the face a half a dozen times by EC3. And maybe that woke him up. There's a headbutt. With 38 seconds left now, Moose looking to finish strong in the end of round two. And in order to get this matchup 1-1, he's going to have to do something spectacular to EC3. And how about that hesitation drop kick? How spectacular was that for the big man? The Moose to get up there and come down with that hanging drop kick. That is. 15 seconds left in round one. Moose now. Oh! Drop kick to EC3 from the second row. And that could be the exclamation point Moose needed to finish off the second round. He's going to run out of time here. And we will go to the judges for the decision on the second of three rounds. I still think that EC3 won this round. Well, there's no question. That Moose did finish strong. We will now get the official announcement for the decision of round two. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges' scorecards are in. The winner of this round is Moose. What? Judges score at 1-1. We go into our third and final round when we come back here on Impact. We are back here at Impact, third and final round of the Impact Grand Championship match. It's tied up 1-1. Moose versus EC3. And if neither man can finish off the other via pinfall or submission in this third and final round, it will go to the judges, and Moose delivers a boot to EC3. 
You know, Pope, you and I were talking during the break. I've got EC3 up two rounds to nothing over Moose. Well, you know what? That last round, again, it was very, very close. It could have went either way. But we're talking about who's looking good, who's leaving that impression on the judges, and that may have helped Moose secure round two. EC3 drops Moose with 2.18 left. Here's a cover. One, two, and... Oh. You know who needs a vote in this? We do. We've seen every one of these Impact Grand Championship matches. We've called them all. I think we deserve a vote in this whole thing. Well, most certainly, from our point of view, we can see a lot of things oh! that a lot of people can't. But look at that kick by Moose. Moose knows it's go time. Moose now, power bomb. Followed by the Santon. Covers. One, two, and oh. Oh. wow. Fans, a reminder, one night only, GFW Amp Anthology Part 1. you got to check out this series as part of the one night only pay-per-views. Friday, August 11th, it premieres 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, exclusively on pay-per-view. Oh, boy. Now check this out, Moose from the top. EC3 down on, oh, wow, what impact. Cover. Boy, what a move. Now the Moose has set loose. We see him pulling out all stops. He just nailed EC3 with that go to hell, but it didn't prevail. Round number three has belonged to Moose thus far. And as we approach the final minutes of this Impact Grand Championship match, you can bet both men are going to throw everything they have as it's going to come down to the wire if it goes to the distance so far. Moose now goes for the choke slam. EC3, one per center on Moose. Cover, two. No! How many men have kicked out of these these three? One percenter! Not many. Not many, but what are you more impressed by? The one percenter or the fact that Moose kicked out? I think both are equally impressive. Remember, 30 seconds left. Can EC3 finish off Moose or vice versa? Get a pinfall or submission in the final moments. Or else it's going to the judges. Moose! With 15, oh, 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 oh my goodness, he just got turned inside out. Did Moose by EC3. Here we go, 10 seconds left in the matchup. Moose has EC3 up and down with a sit down choke slam. Three, two, one, and we're going to the judges' scorecards. Pick a winner, guys. Pope, Josh, who's gonna take it? It's too close to call. It looked like Moose won, in my opinion. Well, Moose hit the big move at the end, right? EC3 hit the one percenter. Moose was setting up for the game changer. EC3 was looking for that ECD. I think if you throw the third round out and you go with round one and two, I'm going with EC3. All right, it's judgment time. Let's find out who is the winner of the Impact Grand Championship match. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges' scorecards are in. And there is a split decision. Oh, boy. Judge Scott D'Amore scores round three. A 10-10 tie. Judge Dutch Mantel also scores round three. A 10-10 tie as well. That's what it was. Judge Bruce Pritchard scores round three. 10-8 for the winner by split decision. And new wow. Impact Grand Champion, EC3! What? That's a shocker. 10-8? Uh, obviously, two judges, here are the facts. Two judges were in agreement that final round was 10-10. It was 10-10. There was an evenly matched round for both guys, and then how does Bruce get 10-8? We have a new Impact Grand Champion and Moose and the rest of us are in total disbelief. It was an evenly matched contest. There's no question about it. All three rounds, back and forth, great action. But 10-8? Speechless, absolutely speechless. EC3, your new Impact Grand Champion and a shocking split decision victory. We just do what we have to do. It's not because we want to. We have no choice. No choice. No choice. We are the best tag team in the U.S. No, that.
in the world. In the world. The world. You don't believe us? Come, come, see us! O-V-P. Ohio versus everything. 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 Everything! Best tag team in the U.S. No, that in the world. LAX successfully convinced a member of El Patron's family to join their organization. Tonight, our main event, LAX versus the Patron family here on Impact. Bruce, why would you have Sanjay ejected from the building? Well, simply because Sanjay was banned from the building in the first place until we can get all of this mess straightened out and Sanjay interjecting himself into matches and into Trevor's affairs is just not going to fly around here right now. Well, I, I, I don't know what match that Dutch Mantel and Scott Demore were watching, especially in that final round, but beyond a shadow of a doubt, I am extremely confident in my decision that EC3 won the final round, therefore winning the match. And I stand by that. I'm not a big fan of EC3. But when you give the devil his due, he definitely won that match. Of course I feel like everything that I've, that I've said and done is in the best interest of the company. What other reason would I have other than simply the best interest of the company? I have no other agenda to prove. Well, we didn't really have it scored evenly, the Impact Grand Championship. Uh, I think EC3 won the first round, Moose won the second. And in the third, uh, I had it a tie across the board. Scott Demore had it a tie across the board. And Bruce Pritchard, I don't know really what match he was watching because he had it 10-8. And I don't think there was uh, two points separation between EC3 and Moose. Now, I'm not going to uh, say that he wasn't justified in, in making that call because I can't account for a, another judge. I, I was sent out there and set out there to, to judge it the way I saw it. That's the way I saw it. But anyway, it doesn't matter. EC3, he somehow was awarded the, the, the championship via, via Bruce Pritchard. Haven't really talked to him, to tell you the truth. He hasn't even explained where he was on the pay-per-view. The only thing I, I can think about how to get a hold of him, maybe I should have ordered a ordered a t-shirt off his podcast, then he'd have picked up the phone and called me. It was probably the quickest way to find him when we had the pay-per-view uh, a week or so ago. Ladies and gentlemen, the following is a six-man tag team contest scheduled for one fall. Introducing team number one first, from Brooklyn, New York, PM. A six-man tag team match with some international flavor about to kick off here on Impact in our main event yet to come tonight. Alberto El Patron and his family, his father, his brother, step into battle against the Latin American Exchange. That is our main event here tonight. His tag team partners, first from Croatia, Mario Bacora. And his partner from the island of the Philippines, Paula Ba! Paula Ba, Bokara, look at the big man lead the way, the powerhouse of this team. Over 400 pounds, low center of gravity, hard to move, and brings a lot of power with everything that he does. Josh, what do you think about him? Reinforce the ring when you get Fala Ba involved. I don't know how close these guys want to get to KM. He's under uh, some pressure right now. He's in trouble with Karen Jarrett after what he did in last knockout standing last week. Their opponents first from parts unknown, Suicide! And Suicide makes his way to the ring in this international six-man tag team matchup. Want to remind everyone once again, Impact on the road this weekend. Bags are packed, headed up to the New York Tri-State area. We're in Long Island tomorrow night and Staten Island on Saturday. Looking forward to seeing all of our great fans out. 
in the New York Tri-State area. This weekend, Impact Wrestling live on the road. You need to experience it up close and personal. Accompanied to the ring by Ali from Buffalo, New York, Preston Sutter. And a little ironic after all this time that these two fell in love and Braxton Sutter's wedding that didn't happen. And now Grado is another man who wants to get married in order to stay in the country. Yeah, different circumstances, right? I mean, Braxton Sutter just left Laurel Van Ness at the altar. And then you have Grado who's trying to marry a knockout to stay in America. Tag team partner from the top end of Stevenson, Grado! Well, according to Joseph Park, this is the night. We need an answer from Laurel Van Ness. Win, lose, or draw. Tonight we need closure because Grado, well, time's running out. He's been given notice that his visa has expired or will be expiring soon and needs to get out of the country. Joseph Park came up with the idea, Grado, get married, stay in the country, and remain here on the Impact Wrestling roster. I certainly hope Grado gets deported and we'll never have to see him here in America again. Why is he wearing the American flag on his, on his ring attire? How disrespectful. Well, Josh, that's not disrespectful. The man is paying respect to the United States of America, the land of opportunity and the impact that has given him this chance to come out here and be the... Well, whatever he is. Well, Grado certainly has fallen in love with America. He loves the food. He loves the people. Oh, he loves the food. And he loves the food. There's no question about it. But I'll tell you what, one of the most beloved fan favorites in Impact Wrestling history, Grado now faces deportation at a drop kick. All right, Braxton. And, oh, look at this. Oh. Wow. Not the time to dance when you're in the ring with a guy like Fala Park. Oh. You know, there's something that's just very captivating about Grotto. Eight years, Pope has feuded, has known of suicide, and I've never seen suicide cut a step in the middle of the ring. And there goes Kane. <laughs> wow. Did not connect, and now Grado in a very tough spot. Oh, goes to the bare feet. Oh, Fala Ball, and it's taken all three men, but. Ooh. Outside of the ring he goes, and Grado, Braxton Sutter, and Suicide. Look at these three. This is the most eclectic group I've ever seen. Braxton Sutter now. Over the top rope, somersault down, takes all three out. And now it looks like Suicide is going to do what he's become accustomed to doing his time here in Impact. He's going to take flight, and he's going to do the Suicide Fly! Falling blindly to the floor. Let's take a look at that. Wait, hold on a second. No, let's not take a look at that again. Let's take a look at this. Grado going to the top. Grado's going to fly. Not so fast. Just not in the direction he intended. Now Grado flew like the 777. It's going to take him out of the country. <laughs> not as gracefully, but hopefully doesn't land like that. Well, certainly after what we've seen from Grado and I don't know if you'd consider Laurel Van Ness easy pickings. As far as a wife goes, she's obviously still a scorned bride to never be after being left at the altar. And Grado sees that as an opportunity to get out of the country. Oh, oh wait a minute, are you kidding me? How unique of a maneuver was that? That's a steamroller that has left Grado just flattened to the mat. What a spatula. Congo Kong has obviously taken great exception to the proposals put forth, the dates, everything that's happened between Grado and Atempta. Yeah, but look at Grado, he's already looking thinner after being rolled on by Falaba. There's a big elbow that delivers from Grado to KM, and not so fast. There's that angry Jeff. Poker is not legal, KM is. Now, suicide. Right down. And goes into the ropes. Suicide so quick, so fast. Former X Division champion. 
And let's not forget, Suicide is so innovative inside the six-sided ring. You're going to need to be against Fall Apart! Oh, my goodness, what a splash! And now Braxton Sutter goes in against the big man. Fall Apart! Wow, hard landing on the steps. And KM now back in the ring. And don't forget, our main event is coming up next. It's going to be the Latin American Exchange taking on all three members of the Patron family. Alberto El Patron, his brother, his father joining him as well. And tripped up now, KM. Grado goes for the cover, gets the pin and the win. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Suicide, Braxton Sutter and Grado. It was Grado working together with Braxton Sutter, and of course, Suicide to get the pin and the win in this six-man tag team match. Maslato Van Ness! Please, please, can I just borrow another moment of your time? I really, really need an answer. Come on, Gero. Come on. The man is begging. Well, the man has certainly been through a lot. He's facing deportation out of this country, and his lawyer, Joseph Park, advised whether it's the right or ethical thing to do or not, I guess it's up for everyone to decide amongst themselves, but Bredo sees this as his only ticket to staying in the United States of America, facing deportation. Work visa is expiring unless he can somehow get married. Good luck. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Miss Laurel Van Ness, thanks for coming down. Oh, no. Well, we had heard he had been at least escorted out of the building, but I kind of think Congo Kong can and will go wherever he pleases at any time. Look at the size of this man. And look at the face. You know he's been on the rampage, and it's not about to let up. Grotto better get out of Dodge. Grotto better hit the road if he knows what's good for him. This man is just a beast. Yeah, but if Grado hits the road, he, he's out of the country. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Sweet pearls and Jerry curls. I think Grotto just got his head not with you. Right, there's Braxton Sutter not seemingly want to stick around to help this situation. And uh, look, it's Congo Kong. Uh, look at this. Oh, no. No, come on. Not a man this size climbing from the top. Are you kidding me? Laura putting a stop to this, and Joseph Park trying to get Grado out of the ring. And Laurel Van Ness, thankfully, stopped Congo Kong from going to the top rope, or that would have been the end of Grado as we know him. We do not have an answer. It looks like Grado faces imminent deportation from the United States. And while well, it was a, I don't say it was a good plan, it was a plan nonetheless from his attorney, Joseph Park. Yeah, but tick tock goes the clock on Grado and his time here in the United States. It may be over soon. Wow. I'm here with Conan and LAX, and you guys are in a classic showdown match tonight against the Patron family. Conan, you also said that the newest member of LAX will be unveiled Shut tonight. Up. Random what? white girl number five, let me explain something to you. It's about to go down! A new era of violence, brutality, and sadism is about to commence. But Patron, you made two mistakes. The first one was lying to me. You're not a man of your word like you said you were. And the second is trusting those partners you have with you, because they might turn on you. But let me tell you what's more important than all that. Revenge is a dish best served cold. Now, I want you to take a look at this face, because this is what nightmares are made out of. 5150 to live and die in LAX. Wow. We have never seen Conan like that before. It is next. Get ready, folks. Main event. The Patron family versus LAX when we return on Impact. Good luck. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Miss Laurel Van Ness, 
Thanks for coming down. Oh, no. Well, we had heard he had been at least escorted out of the building, but I kind of think Congo Kong can and will go wherever he pleases at any time. Look at the size of this man. And look at the face. You know he's been on a rampage, and it's not about to let up. Grotto better get out of Dodge. Grotto better hit the road if he knows what's good for him. This man is just a beast. Yeah, but if Grotto hits the road, he, he's out of the country. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Sweet pearls and Jerry curls. I think Grotto oh, no, just no, got no, his no, head no, not no. And There's Braxton Sutter not seemingly want to stick around to help this situation. And, uh, look, it's Congo Kong. Uh, look at this. Oh, no. No, come on. Not a man this size climbing from the top. Are you kidding me? Moral putting a stop to this, and Joseph Park trying to get Grado out of the ring. And Laurel Van Ness, thankfully, stopped Congo Kong from going to the top rope, or that would have been the end of Grado as we know him. We do not have an answer. It looks like Grado faces imminent deportation from the United States. And while it was a, I don't say it was a good plan, it was a plan nonetheless from his attorney, Joseph Park. Yeah, but tick tock goes the clock on Grado and his time here in the United States. It may be over soon. Wow. Braxton Alley, we can just get a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Braxton, not helping Grado. It just didn't really seem like you. Uh, hey, listen, man. Grado's a great guy. I mean, he's also a grown man. I really and he can like take he can take care of himself. Him. You know what I mean? He's he's all right. No, but I don't think he would. Yeah, did you see uh, why that would call? I put myself in more danger? But why would I put you, you in more danger? No. I don't want to put you in danger if I don't have to. So, but, I mean, but, but, we we won the match. But we were his we partner. won the match. We, should have we won him. the match. He's right. we and everything's great. Everything's everything's awesome. I don't really think it is though. Ah, uh, yeah, the bags are packed. Tomorrow night, we are headed to the tri-state area of New York this weekend. Sports Arena, tomorrow night in Long Island. And Saturday, we go to the Richmond County Savings Bank Ballpark in Staten Island. Impact Wrestling on the road this weekend in the New York tri-state area. You do not want to miss your opportunity to see Impact live in person this weekend. Welcome back to Impact. We are moments away from our main event. The question is, can Alberto El Patron trust his own family? LAX has promised a new member joining tonight. Our main event's just coming up in moments. And hey, you know what else, Dad? If we see all the carnage that's going on with Congo Kong, who's going to be able to stop that monster? Two weeks away from Destination X, and we know that Desmond Xavier is in the finals of the Super X Cup. You pick Desmond Xavier, I pick Ishimori. He still has an opportunity, so we're going to see what happens there. And Destination X is shaping up to be massive. How about the ladder match? Sanjay Dutt is going to step into battle. I got Trevor Lee and, of course, Alberto El Patron. We've talked about this main event. We are close. It is coming up next, but the Impact Grand Champion, EC3, has really been on a bit of a... Of course. Right on cue, right? <laughs> Here is our Impact Grand Champion. The attitude of EC3 has changed drastically over the last several months, but it's brought him to gold, you guys. Uh, he's happy about the way he won this against Moose. You know, EC3 has really had a change of attitude. There's no question about it, but to think that he won this Impact Grand Championship in this fashion and is proud about it is absurd. But he's, not, he's not scheduled to be out here. Yeah. I can tell you what, man, the end justifies the means. EC3 is the new champ, and that's all that matters in his book and when it comes to the paycheck, daddy. Is this thing on? I need it on. I need it on, baby. Yeah. Because do you see what is around my waist? Because not only am I the best guy here, the best guy there, the best guy anywhere, the top man of this company, but now I am the grandest champion of all time. Allow me to ascend to my perch. 
What is it? Come on. Seriously? This is a night for celebration! This is the kind of night you're gonna get the boys together, jump on a party bus, and just get it on! Woo! But in reality, you came into my life at a very interesting time, Grand Championship. I'll be honest, I like you. I wanna touch you. I wanna hold your hand. I wanna kiss you. Hell, Grand Championship, I'll just go ahead and say it. I love you, Grand Championship. Oh, he wasn't lying. You want to get out of here? So do I. Well, look at The man loves his Impact Grand Championship. Can you blame him? It's main event time. We ready? Here we go. This is Impact. This is the main event. <laughs> Led to the ring by their general, Conan Homicide, along with Diamante, present your World Tag Team Champions, Ortiz and Santana, the Latin American Exchange. The World Championships, of course, the Knockouts Championships unified at Slammiversary. Well, the Tag Team Championships, they did not need to be unified because LAX won them both two separate occasions. And tonight, this family steps into the ring with another family in a civil war. What will happen in this main event? Ladies and gentlemen, the opponents from San Luis Potosi, Mexico, the team of Dos Caras, El Hijo del Dos Caras, and the Unified Impact and Global Force Wrestling Heavyweight Champion of the World, Alberto Il Patron. Certainly a family affair on many levels in this matchup. The intensity between these two, Alberto El Patron and Conan leading LAX in the battle has been nothing short of intense. A heavy mind. As the cliche goes, heavy is the head that wears the crown. Alberto El Patron, you saw him raise the arms of his brother and his father. But is he trusting them? Can he trust them? Will one of them be unveiled, revealed tonight as the newest member of LAX. That's the first thing that comes to mind when you look at those three walk down. I'm talking about El Patron and his family. What is going through the back of the mind of El Patron right now with Conan saying and promising there will be a new member of LAX tonight. Well, if history is any indication, if we can learn from the past to forecast the future, if Conan says something, 99% of the time he delivers. And tonight, from what we have seen and what we have heard, members of Alberto El Patron's own family have been recruited. There's some trust issues, obviously, and a lot of history, a lot of history between everyone involved in this matchup. The father of Alberto El Patron, the brother of Alberto El Patron and the champion himself in the ring in this six-man tag team match. Amazing to see the legendary Dos Caras inside the Impact ring right now. Yeah, this is a huge moment for Impact to have the legendary father of El Patron in there. <laughs> Look at him go, man. And in there with Homicide, and keep in mind, all the speculation, a lot of rumors this week about who this man could be that joins LAX? Will it be a member of the Patron oh. family? Oh. And 
There were rumors all week long about names. Conan has a lot of friends in this industry. And it wouldn't take but one phone call to change the face of everything. And Conan wants to hurt, embarrass, and humiliate Alberto El Patron after El Patron turned down the opportunity to be a part of LAX. And that's not really an offer that's taken lightly. And certainly, declining that offer, well, that's a whole different story. Now, whether it's through his own family, it looks like Conan is Hell bent on getting revenge on Alberto El Patron, make no question about it. You better believe it. Don't nobody tell Conan no and then don't expect retaliation. Check out El Hio de Dos Carros. Through the ropes to the floor, oh. takes out Homicide. Who will be the newest member of LAX for this main event when we return? We are back. This is the main event of Impact. The family of Alberto El Patron taking on the Latin American Exchange. It's a civil war. Conan has promised all week. By the end of tonight, we will find out the newest member of the Latin American Exchange. And a lot of speculation that it could be Alberto El Patron's own family or a member of. We're going to find out which family will end up running this place. We're going to find out here tonight. And that's why I think it's wise for El Patron to be the legal man in this, to control his own destiny, to control this match. Easier said than done when you're in there against the World Tag Team Champions in Homicide. Well, certainly when you're talking about the World Tag Team Champions, when you're talking about LAX, you're talking about one of the most dominant factions, tag teams in the history of this business. There was LOD, there was Team 3D, there was Fear Money, and then you have these guys right here, the LAX. The unified Global Force Tag Team Champions. No question about it, Pope. They've been so impressive since arriving on the scene. Literally has changed the face of this entire organization with their dominance. The question is, can they dominate the World Heavyweight Champion and his family? Santana now goes for the cover. Two. No, not enough. Just think about everything we've seen from these two families, from LAX and from Alberto El Patron, his brother and his father. The battle lines have been drawn, but it's been a chess match thus far. And amazing to hear that the back and forth rhetoric between Patron and Conan after what we've seen so much history and why a lot of things referenced that have been kind of swept under the rug or at least not talked about between Conan and Patron and we're seeing it all come to a head here. Very hard shoulder into the ring pose. There went Patron. Santana, Ortiz, doing what they do best, making the quick tag in and out. This is why they're so successful. And LAX coming home this weekend to New York, the tri-state area. Staten Island, Long Island, we're going to be there Friday, Saturday. Get on impactwrestling.com for more information. But that is if they can get through this matchup against the Patron family. Look at this strength here by Ortiz. Ortiz is so good, so fast, and not afraid to go to the top and take things high risk. El Patron is the world champion for a reason. He defeated Lashley for a reason at Slammiversary. El Patron's at the top of his game, but the mental game is where LAX and Conan reign supreme. And here comes the brother of El Patron off the top rope, bringing some fire to Ortiz. Taking out Ortiz, and now, I mean, what an incredible family Patron comes from in terms of a legacy, a lineage in this industry. A reminder, next week, ladies and gentlemen, it's ACH versus Ishimori. Semi-finals of the Super X Cup. Here's a cover. Winner of that match next week will face Desmond Xavier two weeks from tonight at Destination X in the finals of the Super X Cup. Also two weeks from tonight, Matt Seidel versus Lashley, and a ladder match to determine the X Division champion between Sanjay Dutt and Trevor Lee. And just like that, Santana changes the... The tune, if you will. The tune, if you will, exactly right, Pope, as this matchup continues. This has been a back and forth affair for sure, and, and you can see how LAX took advantage there. And there's a big superplex there by Ortiz, going in for the quick cover here. A two count. You know, you have to wonder what's going through the mind of Conan and 
You know, El Patron had some very unsettling, unkind things to say about Conan earlier tonight. Calling him a liar, citing some of the history between the two of them, and you know, the bad blood just has really exploded. It's become a mugging here. You can see what LAX have done. They've cut the ring in half. It's Tag Team Wrestling 101, but with LAX, it just seems much more violent and they're much more deliberate with their actions. So with the LAX beating the hell out of El Patron's brother, does that eliminate him as a possible member? Anything is possible. And one thing we did mention, Alberto El Patron said, wow, great kick. Alberto El Patron did say earlier, Conan and his brother in the ring right now go back to history, going back to Japan many, many years. And now look at Ortiz in there, cleaning house. And a three-on-one situation right now in the ring. Just really never know with Conan. I've seen Conan make people, including Pope's own brothers, change on each other. Two count. Well, mind games, right? Yeah. Mind games, to say the least, and that's one thing Conan has been so good at doing in all history. He is able to persuade wrestlers to do a lot of things that you wouldn't expect for him for a cause. This cause, the Latin American exchange and the dominance of Impact Wrestling, and really redefining the tag team division as we know it. And as we watch this match, people might be saying that we're crazy for thinking that a member of El Patron's family could be a part of LAX. It's because we know Conan. We know the way he works and how he can manipulate. It could be anyone. It could be one of you. And now Santana tagged in. And this is classic isolation in the corner. Great tag teams have done it for years, and now it's homicide in. And it's just establishing that dominance and keeping your opponent in your own corner. Straight like the Andersons. Homicide come in, attack the arm, but it didn't pay off! And just like that. That was a knee straight to the mush maker of Homicide. He has to get to the corner, make a tag, and so does the brother of El Patron. Makes the tag now. Here comes Alberto El Patron from the top down on Ortiz. Perfect timing there by El Hijo de Dos Caros to make the tag to his brother Alberto El Patron. Tag back now. Don't forget, Santana did make the tag earlier. Big old man in the ring. Backbreaker for his troubles. And again. Wow. Backcracker and certainly Alberto El Patron on fire. Cover! Take another look here at El Patron. His speed, his strength, the tilt-a-whirl backbreaker, the backstabber, and now it's breaking down. And over the top goes Homicide with that clothesline that was just delivered. But this, this behooves and benefits LAX. The numbers game certainly, oh wow. Over oh. the top to the floor does not connect. As you see Homicide out there, don't forget Conan, Diamante, all at ringside. The entire family out tonight as Patron takes down Santana and now looks to the crowd, looks to Conan and feels confident in the ring with Santana right now. Look at this, look at Santana back up now, putting a hold on Alberto's plans. Precarious situation for both men here. Teetering. Oh boy. Oh no. Talk about being in the opposition. Oh! The double stop. The double stop by the champ to Santana. And off the top rope goes Homicide. Oh, oh no. Wow. Down goes Hamner. El Patron's got to move. Cross arm breaker. Cross arm breaker. And tap it out. Ortiz is tapping out. No referee. With a lot of momentum. Referee Brian no, 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 no. it out. Oh, boy. Has Conan gotten to El Patron's own brother? Now, chair to homicide right across the back. And whatever speculation about Alberto El Patron's own brother seemingly has been put to rest, and Conan, I'm not afraid to get involved. 
Blood showing to be thicker than water here. Was El Hijo de Dos Carlos the one, though? Was he the one that Conan thought he had? And now Wait, who the hell is this? What? There's Loki from the top with the double star. Look at the jacket. Loki is the new member of the LAX. Out of nowhere. With no expectation, no speculation that this would be the man. What a coup. Recruited by the Latin American Exchange in Santana pins the world champion. Wow. Here are your winners, the Latin American Exchange. Conan's master plan has been successfully executed. And Alberto El Patron has now fallen victim to what has to be the most dominant faction in Impact Wrestling history, the Latin American Exchange with their newest member, Loki. Let's take a look at how it happened. Cross arm breaker here. The red herring was what Conan threw out there. There was going to be a member of Alberto El Patron's own family. He had El Patron's mind spinning. That was the red herring. The Warriors' way was the newest member of LAX, Loki. And certainly what better person, this is a coup, as you would say, Josh, to have Loki become the newest member of LAX. Who can stop Conan? Who can stop the Latin American Exchange with their newest member, Loki?